Hey there, Maple Nuts. I got you with video number two of my series of three videos that I will be giving you guys. I will be listing my hero and shed list of trees that I own here in Zone 8 Alpha. Okay, I'm going to say this again. This video is about my zone, not your zone. If you're in zone seven, if you're in zone six and five, and all those nice zones for Japanese maples, your experience with Japanese maples is going to be different than mine. Keep that in mind. Here it's hot, it's humid, and it's windy. And those things Japanese maples do not like. So with that being said, let's continue with the video. Inaba Shidari, guys. Inaba Shidari is on my hero list. I totally recommend this tree. It took the heat the entire year. This was one of my first Japanese maples that I purchased. And it just handled the heat in a way that it really surprised me a lot. I could put it right there next to Bloodgood, Tamukiyama, you know, they can just handle the heat pretty well. This is one of those trees that you can find in big box stores and that goes to tell of how much they can resist the weather in this area right here. All my pine trees, I mean, uh, they're doing great. They're uh, different type of varieties of pines, and I'm not gonna go through them, really. Uh, here, the state of North Carolina, we got pine trees everywhere, guys. It's all filled with pine trees, all right? So pine trees are gonna do very well here. There's not much to, to say about that. If you live in a hot climate zone that is humid, that is windy, it's hot, you can't go wrong with pine trees, all right? So cedars, let's go to my cedar. That's Hortzman right there. This is a uh, blue Electra and, or Electra blue, sorry about that. And Cedrus Atlantica Glauca, all right? These three puppy are on my hero list. I purchased these early this year and they took the entire year here with all those heat wave guys these trees aren't even showing any signs of anything look at that they just look perfect especially this electro blue look at the color on that wow totally recommend those those are a go here for my zone i have right here slenderina and the blues that's how I purchased them, all right? I like the blues a lot, which is that one. That was my first one. I liked it so much that I wanted to get more uh, weeping blue forms of conifers, right? So I saw these Slenderinas online. I purchased them to find out that the blues and Slenderina are the same tree. It's just some douchebag went and said, all right, let's change the name. All right. The blue is fine. The blues is it's a really fitting num uh, name for this tree. Slenderina, I mean, who does that? Who names a tree Slenderina? Come on, you're tripping. Anyways, I'm going to call them the blues. All right. These are three, the blues. I liked them so much that when I went to Kalina's nursery, I got me this big puppy right here. Look at that guy. Oof, I just love this tree. If you're here in Zone 8 Alpha, I recommend it. It is at the very top of my hero list here. I got you, Be is it Benny Shigitatsu Sawa? Yeah, Benny Shigitatsu Sawa. Guys, it is on my hero list. I purchased this tree where it was uh, it was cut back. It had a massive die back right here, okay? I saw it and I still wanted it, you know? And the price was very nice, really, for a tree that uh, it's... It's re very resistant, very resilient. It's a tree that you can put 
in the ground, full sun in my area, you will be fine. In pots, right, I want to say by middle to end of summer, you're going to start seeing a little bit of surface burn. All right. But then again, even my Mikawa, by the end of summer, it was getting a little bit of that surface burn because it was just too hot. All right. So it is a full sun tree. It is resistant. It is resilient. All right. This tree has a had a massive dieback. It was really tall and they just cut it down to more than half of the tree was cut down. All right. And look, it's alive. It's here. It's making it. It's thriving. It is on my hero list. Guys, right here. Let's go. Uh, these are all on my hero list. I don't need to talk about Mikawa Yasubusa. And I don't need to talk about Shishigashira. Even though there's something I need to tell you guys about this tree. Next year, I will be air layering the heck out of it. And I am going to get as many air layers out of this tree because this tree, I have decided it will be turned into a bonsai. Guys, I just cannot let it go. Look at the size of this trunk, the shape. Let me just sit down here, okay? Look at that, guys. I can't let this go. Imagine a bonsai, maybe about this tall. Eh, maybe around that, right? Let's just pull back a little bit more. Because cause I'm starting to see it, guys. I'm just starting to see it. All that will be probably gone, right? But I could probably cut it down, eh, maybe about right there, okay? And it's going to make a wonderful bonsai, guys. I cannot let it go. I can't. So next year, I will be air layering right here, right there, right there. As, as many as I can, all right? And I will be starting to shape this tree nicely. Next growing season... I will be cutting the root system. I'm going to put it in a bonsai pot. And in around a year and a half to two years, it's probably going to be about two year process. All right. From air layers to shaping it and cutting it to cutting the root system and put it in a bonsai pot. It is going to be a very nice project that all of you are going to get to see here in my channel. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I want to consider that. Kurohime, guys. Kurohime was on my second spot. It got knocked down by Hubsdorf, rightfully so, because that Hubsdorf, guys, let me tell you, that Hubsdorf, if you don't have Hubsdorf, guys, go get it. You need it. It's a tree that if you are a Japanese maple collector, you need. You don't need to baby it. It's very sun tolerant and really guys, it's a, just an amazing, beautiful tree. But Kurohime, if you want kind of like a shrub style, right? A very dense tree that it has red, bright red, almost throwing to like pink in the middle. And it got also green. Kurohime. Is your tree right there. Also, if you want a tree that you don't need to baby it and be on top of it and providing just the right amount of sun to shade, because if not, it's just going to die, right? And you don't have that luxury to provide the amount, the right amount of sun to shade. Guys, you don't need to worry about with this tree. Put it in full sun. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to baby it. It is a very sun resistant tree. At one point, I thought that this tree, will, I, it was never going to get stressed. I did push it to a limit to where it started dropping leaf. And that was at the very late summer. I made a video of this tree when it started dropping leaf. I told you guys that I was going to consider moving this tree and I didn't. I said, you know what? Screw you. You're going to stay right there and you're going to get the rest of the sun for the entire year. And guess what? It started pushing new growth. It was like laughing at me the entire year. And for that one reason, Kurohime is at the top 
off my hero list. Guys, A Mini. What can I say about A Mini? A Mini was one of those trees that I purchased. It was out of leaf. It was still cold. It was early last year. And I was told that it was a very rare tree. It got very tiny little leaves and it was worth buying it. It was. This tree, I put it here. As soon as I purchased it, I slip bought it this tree. And I made a video about that too. And the entire year, it just took the sun, guys. And one thing that I got to say about this tree is that the leaves are so tiny that next year, I will be attempting to air layer a branch out of this tree in hopes that I can make the most beautiful, most awesome, perfect looking bonsai out of this puppy right here. Look at the size of the leaves guys look at that it's just tiny little little things right i can put a dime next to it and it's about the same size of a dime that being a bonsai i mean come on i have never seen one i am going to try it that's why a mini is on my hero list taroyama taroyama is on my hero list however i'm not too crazy about this tree I don't know what was the hype around it. This tree looked green and and at the peak of summer, some of those leaves turned darker in the inside, right? And that's about it. That's all it did. It did took the sun. Don't get me wrong. It took the sun. You want a sun resistant tree, something you don't need to baby it, something that you don't need to provide the, just the right location for it, Taroyama. It's a good tree. However, I just didn't see anything interesting on this tree. Now, I was told that during spring, this tree leaf out pink and I cannot wait to at least get that out of that tree. If not, I'm, uh, uh, it's on my hero list because yeah, it did very well, but it's not, I'm too crazy about it. That's another Kurohime that did very well here. Gossamer. Guys, Gossamer did so well here surprisingly when i got this tree i didn't have any sort of expectations for it i thought that as soon as i put it here it was just gonna get decimated and guys it didn't it proved me so wrong and maybe because of that i i have to put it on my hero list it is a tree that you don't need to baby it this tree in the ground will do so much better than what it did in a pot look at Look at the new growth. <laughs> to push a new growth right now, it's supposed to be dropping leaf. It's pushing new growth. All right. So the thing that I don't like about this tree, the thing about that I don't like about this tree, and it's not the tree itself, is that guys, this tree was put facing the sun that way, like the sun was facing the tree this way the entire life of this tree what happened everything started pushing that way even the branches from the back they went around and did that and it's just something that is just it looks windswept right so guess what i turn it around and it's going to remain like that for a long time in hope that it start pushing branches that way all right and i can create more a more symmetrical shape out of this one tree for that reason not for that one reason for the reason that it is so sun tolerant and don't have to baby it and it, it, it is a very beautiful tree for that one reason is on my hero list peaches and cream guys peaches and cream puts on a show during spring it does and the show lasts a considerate amount of time peaches and cream earned the name peaches and cream because when this tree start leafing out it is peaches and creams this tree is so beautiful during the summer it gets a little bit in the boring side but still it got all that variegation on it right it's not a boring leaf you can look at it and still this late in the year look you can still see some of it right Look at that. It's not a boring leaf. It's not a bad tree either. Let me tell you, this tree handled the heat like a champ. 
I thought it was just gonna go to shit just like my all my Go Series 3 did. Almost all of them went to hell. This one took it like a champ. For that one reason, Peaches and Creams is on my hero list. Totally recommended. Guys, I got you two trees right here that have been on my shit list since I got them and have been kind of a little bit controversial actually. I have made a video about both of these trees and I've been honest about about them. And a lot of people just, just get, you know, uh, kind of trigger about it, but it's okay guys. Maybe you're from another zone here in zone 8 alpha guys You put this tree outside in full sun and they're gonna get crusty as hell in a second All right, and it is what it is. You know guys. What, what do you want me to say? They're nice trees when they are not getting fried by the sun all right so you have to provide the right amount of sun to shade for this tree i cannot afford it guys i don't look guys let me tell you something my son comes at the summer it comes from here now that it's about to be winter it comes from there and it does like that right so look i already got this area claim right here and then the only area that i got to provide would be that one little spot right here so ready claimed by other trees so i cannot really afford it so i'm here just literally just making them be sun tolerant hoping that the beaten that they took this year served them as a lesson to behave better next one okay that's all i can really do for it i will be cutting these two large branches that is just shot here that I don't know it looks like an antenna really it doesn't it doesn't do any good to this tree I will be bringing this tree down okay maybe around this area right here and I will sure be pruning that a little bit more and I hope that it does way better I do love them don't get me wrong when they're not getting crusted by the sun they look beautiful and I guess that deep inside my heart I got beat up by these trees. I made a video where I was supposed to point out the difference between Shiraz and Geisha Gone Wild, and I just couldn't tell them apart. No matter how deep I really look into the leaf, the shape, the branching, the trunks, everything, right? I just cannot. It's almost like if Geisha were gone wild, it's Shiraz it's, and Shiraz is Geisha gone wild, no matter how you want to put it, okay? So next year, there is another chance for these trees. Actually, you know what? And the year after that, because I am not planning on getting rid of any of them, all right? Unlike other trees, I am planning on getting rid of other trees. I cannot say which one are they right now, but I'm guessing that you're gonna be able to guess that through the tone of how I talk about them throughout this series. I am not going to say for sure which one will they because at the end of the day, guys, all the trees will get another chance next year. Next year will not be the year where I will be getting rid of any trees, all right? So Shiraz and Geisha Gone Wild, they're not on my hero list. They are on my shit list, but ugh. I feel that I didn't give them the proper chance, all right? So I'm going to put them in limbo, just like the, my Kurenaichi. Even though I like Kurenaichi way better than Shiraz and Geisha Gone Wild, I'm going to give put them in limbo, right? Limbo. Guys, I got you Crimson Queens. Crimson Queens, I got one, two, three, four, five, and six i got six crimson queens that's how much i love them they are amazing they are a little bit into the slower growing lace leaf japanese maple unlike tamukiyama puts way much growth than the crimson queen but that thin leaf that delicate texture that it got is more appealing to others 
it is not more appealing to me but to others it is right so i got these i got them in kind of like a special type of deal anyways i love them i put four of them in the ground with hope that they would grow a little bit more and then i could just pull them out and put it in big pots but it didn't put as much growth as i would love to so next year they're gonna remain there okay it's gonna be another year i will uh push them a little bit more than i would usually push a japanese maple in hope that i just will push just a tiny little bit more growth all right so what do we got my kujaku guys my kujaku is on my hero list they took a beating i tortured this tree and i did that one on purpose i put them in full sun one was right here where this green giant was or is the other one was right there in that one corner and then the other one was somewhere here in this area okay and they were getting beat up by the sun guys and beat up and then late summer i decided to let's just give them a break and put them in the recovery area to see if i can get me a nice fall color out of them guys they were so beat up when i put them there that once they felt that relieved they say screw fall i'm going to winter dormancy and they went to winter dormancy maybe they push a little bit of new growth which is gonna get decimated by the winter by the way but and then that's it the rest it just didn't leaf out it's all buds all right so i'm sorry to my michael jackal for treating them so wrong and i pay for it by not getting a nice video for you guys about michael jackal it's totally my fault anyways they are on my hero list guys i got you right here with indian summer indian summer is i mean look at that guys it still got nice colors like what over two weeks maybe three of really nice fall colors it still got it most trees they give me that nice fall color and then immediately they dry up and they start dropping leaf my indian summer even though it has begun to start dropping leaf it still got a considerate amount of leaf it is on my hero list guys jackus potus what can i say about jackus potus jackus potus is on my hero list it will remain there forever it took the sun like a chump it was just at the end of summer just at the very peak at the end of the last heat wave where i really started seeing some stress on this tree and then i kind of got scared for it a little bit i put it here in the recovery area because i wanted some fall colors out of this tree and it did exactly like my michael jackals did they say okay this is enough for this year i'm out i'll i'll behave better next year right and it is here i couldn't get you guys a video of jackus potus for fall color and i kind of feel bad but i'm pretty sure that next year i am going to treat this tree way better than what i did this year just like my michael jackals so my apologies for that anyways it took the sun like a champ and i will put it on my hero list by the way in the ground jackus potus and michael jacko would have looked way better than now guys is lit is lit is on my hero list i recommend is lit all right now don't go and put it full 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 sun all year because it's, it's going to tap out all right it's, it's going to be one of those trees that will tap out but it can take a considerate amount of sun and it will be fine the reason why this one looks like that is because i taped it there this is actually the top of the tree all right it's just looking down but what's gonna happen is next year the next buds are gonna pop up and it's just gonna grow up from there it's not gonna look like that anymore it's basically gonna turn itself around and i had to do that because that branch was just took way too long and it was shooting that way and it had a whole lot going on on this side but on this side it had barely nothing okay so i twisted 
Guys, Pink Princess. What can I say about Pink Princess? Pink Princess gave me a nice little video. And believe it or not, I got a really nice short out of this video here on my phone. And I have to post it. I'm just releasing them slowly, all right? But I got a nice short out of this video. It looks so amazing. Guys, Pink Princess is on my hero list. However, guys, I don't know how much sun this tree can get i am guessing not a whole lot guys so i got this tree kind of late in the season so i really cannot talk much about it i have to put it on my hero list because it gave me those videos and guys it's just an amazing looking tree it looks so beautiful so it's on my hero list however things may change next year i don't know Guys, basically almost all of these trees with the exception of El Tigre that is right here. Okay, right there is El Tigre. Look at the colors it got, by the way. Look at that. It got a little red there going, right? Yeah, anyways. So with the exception of El Tigre and a couple of trees here and there, right? All of these are seedlings that will be grafted. Not this season, maybe next one. With the exception of these ones right here because these ones I got from Maple Stone Ornamentals and they are ready to be grafted during winter grafting this year. And guys, I will be giving you a nice grafting tutorial, guys. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, subscribe if you don't wanna miss on that. All right, I will be talking about this tree at the end of this video, all right? And it's... <laughs> Anyways, 6910, what can I tell about 6910? 6910 is not on my hero, it's not on my shit list. It's pointing a little bit more towards the hero, and that was just because this tree got decimated within 24 hours of getting here, all right? Decimated by the reflection of one of my windows. And I put it here and it made a full recovery fully recovered all right it put massive growth and it looked beautiful however it's one of those trees that is on the weak side like mother earth is trying is constantly trying to get rid of this tree right and it's alive because we keep it alive but it's just one of those that is on the weaker side and i cannot recommend this tree for zone 8 alpha this is not the zone for this tree unless you are able to provide a massive amount of shade sensu sensu is so beautiful guys however it's right there almost at the top of my shittiest trees that i own it's on my shit list obviously this tree has been constantly here trying to recover and it just keeps getting hit with either one thing or the other it got decimated by the sun and then after that it got knocked down by the wind a couple of times consecutively i'm talking eight nine twelve times maybe before i put stakes i had to buy stakes for all my trees right i staked it i put two of them i solved that problem and then after after everything was nice and dandy it just got uh, a white mold all over it, right? So uh, it's one of those trees where it just constantly giving me problems, guys. So for that one reason, I got to put it on my shit list. I highly doubt that this tree is going to move out of that list. And it is one of those trees where I'm probably considering getting out of this zone. Guys, the shittiest tree that I own goes... The one at the very bottom of the Japanese evolution. The one tree that nature is constantly trying to get rid of and we do not want. Ba -ba -ba -bum. It goes to Snow Kitten, guys. Snow Kittens is at the very, very top of the shit list. It is the number one shittiest tree that I own. This tree is so weak that it's almost considered a houseplant. I could consider it a houseplant. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can put it by a window indoors, and this tree will probably do way better than outdoors. And this is how weak this tree is. It is the shittiest tree 
in the world. And to top it up, it was high grafted and it looks even worse. Whoever did this is a douchebag. Do not need to do this anymore. Please don't do this to this tree. Don't do this high, high, high graph. Just, just do something at least halfway. You know, maybe, maybe here. You know, why, why gotta be all up there? You know, it looks like crap. It put absolutely no growth last year. I had it for almost the entire year, and it put absolutely no growth whatsoever. I hit it with uh, some fertilizer a couple of times, and it still didn't put any growth. I highly doubt <laughs> this tree is probably, I don't even know. I hate it. Guys, I hate this tree. I hate it. I, for me to hate something, it takes a, a lot and I just hate this tree. I'm keeping it though. I'm going to keep it just to see what's the, what's the, what's the thing about this tree? Because a lot of people, a lot of people pay ridiculous money for this shit tree. I mean, a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollar for a one gallon tree of a snow shittin's guys don't throw away your money like that all right just get something else right mystic mikawa would do way better than this okay so anyways it earned the name snow shittin's guys this is it this is the end of my second video of my series of three videos that i got for you guys on my last video i will be covering that whole area right there and that area right there is probably going to be the longest video of all three. So anyways, guys, I really got nothing else for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay naughty, my friends.